Carolina Panthers suddenly alive with a big second half rush at 7 and 7 at Pittsburgh. Their first losing season ever at Three Rivers Stadium. Fred Lane fumbles and Travis Davis, two yards in his own end zone, is going to bring it out. What a fool, right? No, I don't think so. Look at the defenders smelling the end zone. Travis Davis, good. Go all the way. 102 yard fumble return, the second longest in NFL history. Only Jack Tatum, 104 yards, 72 Raiders longer. 10 0 Steelers. Richard Huntley brinkley's his way for 25 yards into the end zone. Steelers ran. For 137 yards on the ground in the first half. 12 seconds left on fourth down in the first half, starting to snow. Steve Burline, what are you going to do, Tom? Knock it down. They know Patrick Jeffers catches it. What a wild first half. 23 to 20 Steelers at the half, but this is, what is this, the snow plow game? Nope. Oh, it looks like old time football. Finally, took the December 26th. Huntley through the snow. First down, then Jerome Bettis. And look at Jerome Bettis. Now, he's working his way through this snow. He's used to playing in the cold, used to playing in this kind of weather. So he's going to do a much better job, obviously, than the Carolina Panthers. And here again, get some tough yards for an important first down near the end of the game. Very smart for the Steelers to put snow tires on the bus because <laughs> an eight-yard run, touchdown. That's the, bar, the margin the Steelers need to breathe a little easier. It's the only scoring in the second half as the snow cave, as you can see in the second half, the Steelers beat the Panthers 30 to 20. Panthers at seven and eight are still alive, but they need some help. Steve Berline, Pro Bowl bound, was intercepted once and the Panthers lost two fumbles. Tough to turn the ball over three times on the road and win.